Well, you know, the boss is pretty simple. You know, he just uh, said to me, try to do my best here and just be myself. Uh, after, you know, how it is here, you know, you, he likes people to, to just be in front and just animate everything. So you're never kind of in the same position. Uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter for him whoever plays in the middle or on the right or on the left. He just likes everybody to be all the time in the, in the position, the Barca position, if you, if you know, if you know what I mean. So, no, nothing specific, you know, he just told me to be myself. And you've been playing uh, on the left-hand side of, the, of a 4-3-3. Uh, how comfortable are, are you going back to that position? Well, first of all, you, you need to know that when you play uh, on the left, you need to be more than fit because you need to go up and down quite often and, and help your, your left back. So uh, that's the only thing I need to get used to again, uh, to play like this. Against Lyon, I, play in the, I played in the middle, so it was a different game also for me. But, uh, you know, as I'm not yet 100% fit, sometimes it wasn't easy to do it on the left. But, you know, you always have to start somewhere. And if the boss is asking me to play on the right or to play on the left, if he thinks that it's because uh, the team need, needs it, you know, you're going to have to do it. That's the way it is. How about um, Thierry Henry? What's, what do you expect of him uh, this season and in the next few years? What, is your role going to change? Is the way you play going to change now that you are in a different club? I don't expect anything from myself. I like to. I, I don't always. I don't set myself any targets. So, uh, what I want to do here is to learn, and uh, I need to learn quick how the how, how Barcelona is playing. Because comparing to England, you know, the ball uh, arrives arrives quicker to the striker. Uh, here, it's more. You know, you need to learn to be patient. That's what I would say. Um, but then it comes with time. It comes by by playing more and. And um, obviously, here is also a different type of game when you play as a striker. It's a diff different type of game when you play in the middle. You need to, to, to because the, the game is more based on the guys on the wing. Um, but you need to learn that and you need to, to adapt yourself to it. Papers have followed you uh, just before the matches and uh, what you were doing with Giovanni and with Boyan, the two youngsters that everybody keeps talking about. You were, you were joking with them and trying to what to make them relax to what they're, they're, they're just a natural re relax. not really that's that's just uh, if i can say the the way i am here it's uh easier to see because uh everybody's in training everybody sees everything people only in london used to see me play and and see that that uh, what they used to call the moody face but i always love in training if you come in training you'll see here it's uh i i just no i don't, I, I don't know it's just uh something like bring me to them don't know why, you know, I, I love Bojan and, and Gio, I just, I don't know, with everybody, anyway. But I don't know, I like to see them coming through and, and everybody is talking about them and just to tell them, you know, whatever, do, do what you can and just being, trying to be yourself, really. You come from a club that had lots of youngsters coming through and you had to help them with that uh, process. And you come into a club that has been a successful club for the last few years. Do you see a difference in, in the attitude of the players towards their football or you know the attitude of fans? Do you see any, any difference there? No, not really, to be honest. You know, it's, it's the same thing. You know, sometimes, we, that's what I was saying when we were at Arsenal and people sometimes were twisting what I, what I was saying. I just said, in football, you, don't have, you have no age. If you're good, you play. We have the example with Bojan and, and, uh, and Giovanni. If you're good, the boss will, will, will make you start sometime or make you make you play more than what you think that's that's ev all the time what i said but people always used to tweet twist my quotes when i used to say that oh he's complaining about it i'm not complaining about it i said if you there is no age in football if you're good you play and you see it here lillian is is kind of old if i can say he plays when the boss thinks he can play he plays giovanni played in uh, played against uh, uh pamplona he came on against uh, uh, last time he's always coming on. There is in football there is no age. It's only people all the time saying, "Oh, they're too young," or oh, "They're too old." Uh, you know, you're never in, in in the middle in football. Or you're too young, or you're too old. But for me, there is no there, are, there is no age, age in football. How good are they? Because uh, they're different in the way they play, but they seem to have something. Don't they? I don't know if it's the cheapest. Well, let me. Or... I don't know. Let me tell you something. If if you're already playing for Barcelona at 16 year old. 16 years old, then that means you, you're more than good at your age. You understand stuff that some people at, of, of, your, of your age group, 
uh, are not understanding. Uh, Bojan is, I've, I've, I rarely saw a, a player like him at his age. Maybe David Trezeguet in terms of uh, how he sees goal. That's all that's matter for him is goals. And uh, I, was, I, was, I was surprised to be honest. I saw him play in the uh, under 16 when they won the, the tournament. And I was I was already impressed with him, but I said to myself, he's 16, and I saw him in, with us playing with us, and I was like, he's ready, <laughs> he's ready, and and the same with uh, with Gio. Gio is is more already more matured uh, physically, um, maybe more capaci- cap- uh, possibilities for more more possibilities for him to run past people because he's more dynamic and explosive. But but the 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 way Bojan moves. It's uh, already for his age. It's unbelievable. I remember talking to Xavi about Ronaldinho when he first arrived, and, and he was saying, you just feel like watching him and clapping him. And can we say the same about Messi now? I think he's, uh, he's taking over now. Well, I can't afford to watch Messi because I need to move when he, he moves <laughs> also. But now Leo is unbelievable. Well, you can't... It's, 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 I think sometimes it's easy to make the... the to talk about Maradona because both Argentinian, both kind of the same size, same type of player. Maradona was Maradona, but Leo, Leo is amazing. You know, it's uh, it's unbelievable. He, he's, if he's uh, careful enough, he's gonna have the the world at his feet. He has he has the world at his feet already. So, for uh, the guy is what 20 now, I think, or something like this. But it's, it's going to be the one. Like, uh, there is also there are so many players around, but I think it's going to be it's going to be the one for a very long time.